Shalom, all phrases to you. I want Barashem, Yahweh Shai, Barashem Rakar Kadash, double honors unto the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well. Shalom to the whole for elect. Um, this video is um, going to be entitled The ICBMs Weren't Made to Collect Dust. Okay? Now I'm going to read this article in Russia today. Uh, just just one snippet um, Getting some scriptures And some definitions and whatnot. So this is from RT.com New ICBM in 2020 Hypersonic glider in 2019 Putin outlines nuclear deployment plans Okay so The president of Russia Vladimir Putin has, has got some plans For his ICBMs The Russian military is expected to deploy The Sarmat ICBM which I believe that Sarmat is the same great one of the Satan um, ICBMs um, in 2020 and the avant-garde hypersonic glider warhead in 2019, according to Vladimir Putin. He described both weapons as essential for future nuclear deterrency. All right, so what I want to do is get into this word. Deterrency. I oh, see. I didn't even know it. it had this article, deterrency theory. Okay, and this is a theory because it's a thought that's gonna come to no avail. Deterrency theory gained increased prominence as military strategy during the Cold War. Okay, where um where we're back at because remember the Lord said in Ezekiel how he put hooks back in the Russian Gog and Magog to turn it back to the old way, being the time of the Cold War. And that's what the time we're in. Increased prominency as a military strategy during the Cold War with regard to the use of nuclear weapons. It took on a unique con connotation during this time as an inferior nuclear force. By virtue of its extreme destructive power could deter a more powerful adverse adversary, provided that this force could be protected against destruction by a surprise attack. Deterrency is a strategy intended to dis dissuade an adversary from taking an action not yet started or to prevent them from doing something that another state desires. A credible nuclear deterrent, Bernard Brody wrote in 1959, must be always at the ready yet never used. Okay, so basically th their intention is that it's always ready, but they have no intention of using it. That's the meaning of the word deterrent or deterrency which is a, f a, f a fucking lie basically <laughs> reason being because the lord he made that for his purpose which i'm you know through the spirit and power yeah by sham yashai grab some scriptures and to the point showed you that man it tells you in isaiah 55 11 since i'm right there so shall my word not go f that so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Okay. The Lord's word. You know, you got that saying, man. Don't, um, don't, um, like, uh, Satan, man. Don't let your mouth, um, uh, see, this is Satan, man. Let me just, um, look it up real quickly. <laughs> <sighs> Bear with me. That's it. Your mouth is right in checks. Your ass can't cash. Okay? And that's basically... The Lord ain't doing that, man. That's man. Man will do that. Man will say, you know, I'm going to do this. And then don't do it tomorrow, man. Take the... the you got the multiple scriptures now. You got about... That's why we're told to say, Lord willing. If the Lord will, we'll do this on the morrow. Because the man's guidance are of the Lord. How then could a man understand his own way? And remember the parable of the two sons. One said that told his father, yeah, I'll do it. And he didn't do it. The other said, I'm not going to do it. But then he wind up doing it. So that's the spirit of the Lord. That's man. But the Lord ain't, that ain't, the Lord ain't, that ain't his, um, that ain't how he maneuvers, man. It says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. You know, when you make a void payment, 
you go to a cash, you go to um, buy something at the till, and basically you, you get scammed or whatever. You put in your cart, you might um, you know, tap your chip. And I ain't talking about no mark of the beast. I'm talking about the chip, the NFC inside of your your um debit or credit card. You might um use um touch and go. I can't remember cashless pay um cashless payment. You know when you scan your card on it, and then it shows up void, payment not approved. The Lord don't do that, man. Anything He says is gonna be approved. It's gonna happen. His word is powerful. And his word also is Yahweh Shai, which has all control has been handed over to him. He's received glory in the heaven and he's coming down upon his earth to receive this glory upon his glory, that same glory on the earth. That's why it says what it says in the Lord's Prayer. Okay, on earth as in heaven. But it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Okay, and this is the thing that sent a missile, man to the land of America to make it that lake of fire spoke of in the book of Revelations. Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. It's a luckier, man. Um, see. Um, uh, um well that's relevant but this is this is the relevant scripture Isaiah 54 and 16 behold I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire the smith when you go into the ancient world what did you have you had smiths different forms of smith you had copper smiths black smiths silver smiths gold smiths okay you even have people that carry that same last name because through the years and generations they they over in England you have uh, you may have a p person that have the last name Baker or you may have a, a person with a last name Farmer. Or you may have a, a person with a last name um, Goldsmith. Or just Smith in general. Smith is a form of work that, um, you know, a work with, you know, an anvil. With a hammer and an anvil. Chipping away at um, a blacksmith, for example, would chip away at steel to make weaponry. And then you'd have a, a goldsmith would chip away um, gold to make, you know, jewel, gold jewellery, silversmith, same thing. And then you might have a coppersmith, same thing. But this smith that's being spoke of is talking of these scientists, a former blacksmith that brought forth a weapon, blow up on the coals, like you'd have an anvil blowing the coals of the fire to, you know, make the, you know, make the, 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 the still red beaming hot and then slowly break it down. And I bring forth an instrument for its work. And I've created the waste to destroy it. That's talking about the ICBMs. That's what was being created. And its sole purpose is for the destruction of America. That weren't made in vain. There ain't nothing out here that if the Lord purposes it and it's made, they ain't made in vain. Okay? The Lord made it for a reason and it's going to be put to use. Um, and the reason no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me saith the Lord so we're Lord willing we be of the elect we're, protect, we're protected from this great day but this day is for two thirds of the nation of Israel and America and all the wicked the heathen in the land of America to be destroyed man and wherever them ICBMs are designated to hit okay so now I'm going to get another scripture to back this up. This is Psalm 7 and 13. And it reads, He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. Okay. He ordaineth his arrows against the prosecutors. Uh, against the persecutors, Salakia. So the arrows, the arrow is a form of, the, the ICBM is a form of arrow. If you, if you were King David back in the time of the Psalms was being written, Okay, um, well, not David, but um, uh, Shigai, Shigayon of David, okay, basically, what he made, he, just, he, he basically saw the ICBMs, but described them as um, arrows, because that was a fitting metaphor, or a um, metaphorical way to describe what he had seen, and that's what the ICBMs are, they're instrument of death, that basically flow as arrows, man. All right, and I'll get this last scripture. This is um, 
Jeremiah 50. Eight. The Lord have opened his armory and have brought forth weapons of his indignation, for this is the work of the Lord, power of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. Now it said, this is the work of the Lord, power, Yahweh, okay, the Lord of hosts, in the land of the Chaldeans. Where is the modern day land of the Chaldeans? It's talking about America, man. Babylon the Great. That is the new Babylon today. What is the Chaldeans was the same result of, of um, the Babylonians. Okay, the second kingdom of the of the Babylonians, the prior one being the Tower of Babel. Okay. And what does America represent? Babylon. The word Babylon means land of confusion. America is a land of confusion. There is no one straight way with America. America is about a perverse mix of everything and every of anything and everything to create confusion. Hence why it's known as the new Babylon. But even better yet, it's called Babylon the Great. Okay? Because of the great greatness of its nation. Alright? So that's the, the this is the work of the Lord of hosts in the land of this the ICBMs is the Heavenly Father's work, not Esau's deterrency against no World War Three. This is gonna come to effect. So with that man I pray you edified, shalom.